Well, 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 it would appear that we have a Europa Expanded update coming here very shortly, and uh, they were so kind as to give me early access. I know that this update is uh, Terra Incognita, and it's mostly focused around colonization, but uh, you guys know that I hate colonization, so we're not going to do it. In fact, we are going to not be colonizing at all, and we're going to be playing as Burgundy, who received a quite a big fate facelift here in the uh, Europa Expanded update. And let's take a look at our new mission tree, which is, um, she's pretty. She's pretty. We also have a new government mechanic here, Support of the Knights, which can give us some pretty solid bonuses to our, uh, you know, economic stuff mostly. And, uh, you know, nobility loyalty is always appreciated. We can get some cavalry bonuses and a general with an additional shock, which is nice. We can get some uh, cheaper advisors as well as cavalry combat ability, or we can hold a tournament, get some morale and some prestige. All pretty cool stuff. I would really like to ally the emperor. That way I can... Uh, come on over and rival the French. And while we're at it, we might as well rival England and uh, Denmark. Sounds good. I was told that the estates have changed a bit. We have strong duchies, order of the golden fleece, uh, which we will not be able to revoke, apparently. It gives us cavalry shock, which is pretty solid. We also have nobility in the officer corps, giving us general cost. Okay, so these are like vanilla ones, but we start off with them. Okay, very cool. Let's just go with oversight and uh, kind of do the normal stuff for these guys. Might as well take out our burger loans. Always appreciated. Sounds good. Some provincial train power would definitely be helpful for us. Go ahead and uh, yoink a little bit of crown land. Own Calais. Mm, I don't know about that, but we can try for it. All of our Dutch subjects have at least 150 opinion with us and less than five liberty desire. I think we can probably manage that. And Brabant must have a uh, great project here. Don't mind the placeholder, but uh, I think we can afford that. Got to get uh, Nevers to like us, which we can do that. No problem. Own Calais. Working on it. Own Liege. Working on that. Annex some lands up in the lowlands. We'll be able to do that in no time. And annexing Lorraine. I think we can do that as well. Once Philip is dead here and we've won 10 battles, we have at least two generals. We'll be able to get uh, some pretty solid bonuses till the age of discovery, which is going to be very helpful. There's a lot of development up here, so having some AE impact reduction is definitely going to be good. Once we get some cavalry and some nobility stuff, we'll be able to get some splendor as well as some development, which is always appreciated. Wow, there's a lot of missions that we can start off with here, actually. We've got some Dutch particularists upon <laughs> unpausing. I think that they can handle them themselves. And uh, I also want to pick up a second ally down here in Savoy. We want to box these guys in. That would definitely be intelligent. And if we can also pick up another friend down here, uh, that would be good as well. We definitely want to make sure that we are uh, curbing the French enthusiasm. There can only be one dominant French nation, and it's going to be Burgundy. So I'm going to initially focus on getting my subjects to like me. I think that would definitely be the appropriate course of action. And then once we get that, then we're going to try to pick up some friendship uh, where some some favors rather with Castile so that way we can go to war with England early on Austria might be a good shout as well but we'll see how things go with that interestingly enough Holland is actually a vassal rather than a personal union so we're gonna have to keep that in mind as well I think we're gonna rush espionage ideas so we'll focus on Diplo here uh, we're gonna need it anyways once Charles comes in oh no way he's dead bro he was like 50 oh no well at least our uh, our consort is fine does hurt that we're going to have to buy our stability up, though. Hate to see that. Well, Brittany wants to be my friend, and we have one more slot, so we might as well accept it. Sounds good to me. Oh, yo, let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, 412. That is not good. <laughs> I could totally make this happen, though I'll have to fight Venice, which is not ideal. Ideally, we would get, like, Austria in on that as well. Savoy has been excommunicated? Uh, that's not ideal. I would love to see Provence get excommunicated. That would be ideal. Nice, free money. I love free money. I'll send him some money if it means we can get this mission done quicker. And there we go. The legacy of Philip. Reign in the Stadtholder's diplomatic action. Make all their Dutch subjects gain uh, 20 liberty desire and 50 opinion with us, but will allow us to rein them in so they don't join in the Dutch revolt. Very cool. We have 25% uh, of each monarch power per subject we have. So that's pretty solid. 75 mana of each kind is great. Now we have to rein them in. I'm not worried about them being like disloyal or having bad relations so i guess we might as well do it then hmm. so we have to have this for at least two years before we can do it all right venice has some troops but i imagine they wouldn't really be able to do much if we were to declare the war so i think i'm just gonna get my armies together and we're gonna go uh see if we can take uh calais that would be great castile will join and um i can promise them land and then just you know not give them any if i don't need to so it should be okay. We'll go for Calais. Sounds good. Apparently Nevers likes us, so we'll get some claims as well, which is great. We can also just uh, release Champagne as a vessel. Gains a core on Paris on Chantier. I mean, 
Sure, sounds good to me. I will always be fine with an extra subject. We've got a lot of cores that we could be taking. <laughs> and I suppose I should hang tight and beat up on Venice if I have the ability to. That would definitely be smart for us. Though nobody has mail access yet, so we're just hanging tight. Meanwhile, I think we're going to ruin a uh, historic friendship. <laughs> and Venice definitely has some men over here now. Very good. We do have a bit of professionalism, so maybe I shouldn't hire mercs. But uh, mm, maybe I do. I don't know. Get me a better general, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and just get the Hussite company here. It's fine. Five professionalism. We'll be able to get back in no time. England landed some men up here, so uh, might as well get up there and help them out. Yep. And that's a stack wipe on those British troops, which is uh, very nice. Oh my gosh. Hey, Savoy wants to join as well. Heck yeah, bro. Savoy, be a punching bag, please. This is a farmland, so it's not necessarily the best fight I could be taken, but uh, we'll see if I can get my subjects to attach to me. That would be great. Head on in and we should uh, clap them. Very good. They actually are probably stuck here now because they can't flee. Hey, don't really know what they're doing right now. Oh, they're... <laughs> oh, Venice just got stack wiped. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Calling these guys in was so troll. I love that. Portugal is on low enthusiasm. I actually just want them to like break off any relevant alliances and then we'll just take the money. Sounds good to me. I'll pay for any of the mercs or anything that I've taken in this war. Venice we might keep just for some war score and then hopefully France will peace out soon and we'll be able to occupy Calais. That's kind of what we're looking at. Brittany even wants to join. Sure, if you want to come in on favors, I'll I'll happily have you in. Oh, you can seize land while at war now? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so you can. So we're gaining quite a bit of this. Uh, we could get a little bit more if we wanted to go with like legitimacy and whatnot, but we, we're pretty much maxed out on that. Let's improve with the Pope as well. See if we can uh, maybe get, uh, get this papal controller. That would be very helpful early on for the AE. We may actually want to go to war with France pretty early here as well. If Austria owed me favors, they would join. All right. Oh, and they actually got a PU over these guys. They're disloyal, but uh, that could be pretty helpful. The Renaissance, very nice. I just really hope the French don't take Calais. That would be annoying. This random English stack occupy Toledo. Oh, so stupid. This game, man, is just absolutely... The AI will always, always go out of their way to be annoying. You guys need to peace out soon, man. This is boring. Come on now. Oh my gosh, they got hungry as well. Oh, that's crazy. And Bohemia is about to be loyal. This having these guys as allies is going to be very helpful. Very, very helpful. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Venice has lost 41. England has lost 33. Somehow Castile has lost 25. I don't know how, but I've lost 14. And I haven't even like other than those battles over here, I didn't really do much at all. But yeah, England's got 9,002 in reserve, one in reserve. So I think we're doing okay. Oh, they peaced out as well. Nice, we can get Calais. And I'm pretty sure that we don't actually have to give Castile any land and they'll be okay with that. Let me see here. Yeah, they won't even be upset because they can't take any land. That's perfect. I think we can probably turn our army maintenance down a bit and then uh, should be okay. France is over here fighting Provence as well. Man, if we could get these guys in to a war against France, that would be game. Like that would be so over. We would definitely outnumber them, no doubt. There we go. We will also take... Uh, humiliate sounds good. Lots and lots of money. And I will get almost 300 of it. So that's a great peace deal for us. My goodness. <laughs> we finish an estate agenda, giving us some mana, which is great. We finish a mission because we've defeated the English. We get claim on Normandy and Brittany, as well as power projection, which is great. Designate Calais as a staple port, which I think we should certainly do. Hurts our opinion with Brabant here. Um, do I care? Not really. The mercantilism is nice. Local trade power is nice. Sounds good. We'll have to just improve with Brabant. No big deal. Definitely will help us get more trade power up here. No doubt about that. Zero will turn into... Oh, there you go. <laughs> Maybe a little bit eventually. We'll see. But yeah, uh, killing these guys while they're in the cradle would definitely be ideal. These guys are in a war and they're being sieged down. They have some debt. So hopefully they'll be done for that eventually. That would be nice. First reform here. Go ahead and go with... um. I don't know, actually. Stab cost is always appreciated. Cav and army tradition, huh? We do have a lot of castles. Let's just go ahead and go with that one. Saves our economy quite a bit early on. We can join a coalition against France. Really? I don't think that's going to really matter. Might as well join it, though. That would be great. Then if these guys join, then I can basically call them in on their own. And I think I can return cores in a coalition war. I'm not actually 100% on that. Once Austria recovers from their debt, they would join. And we would definitely be able to outnumber the French, which would be great. The last jousting tournament. Heck yeah, that would be great for going to war with France. I would happily take that. If you ever have a pending event like this and you don't really want to take a loan, you can just, you know, exploit some base tax. 
hurts you a little bit in the long term, but really it's not a big deal. Renaissance is coming. We'll get it soon. Oh, Bohemia is definitely not loyal anymore. Feels bad. Oh, they're guaranteed by everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. Castile would join. Now all we... Oh, their loan is... Their debt is even bigger than it was before. Okay, well, maybe we can just do this. That would probably be fine with me. Probably would reconquest Paris. I think that would be the most appropriate. Obviously, we need to make sure we have our armies ready to go because the French uh, definitely punch very hard. Very, very hard. Oh, Felipe, uh, 064. Not bad. Not bad. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, Leroy Jenkins this. No time like the present. Go for Paris. We can pressure Utrecht to become a vassal of Burgundy. Looks like this one is not quite ready yet. Um, I'll go ahead and try it at least. And now they're a Stadtholder state. Very nice. Does that mean they're a subject of mine? They are. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get these guys reined in as well. Very useful for us. Somehow Austria's debt has like doubled since I last looked. So I don't really know what that's all about. Lots of battles going on around us. And uh, we are still... Oh my gosh. We are definitely in danger over here. Austria going to war with Poland, Lithuania. Really? Golly. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to join. I don't really have a choice, I don't think. We've won a siege over here. Let's uh, get these guys off of my lands. Definitely want that happen. Yeah, it looks like everything is good. I think Castile is going to start sieging stuff down in the south. We're sieging stuff down in the north. And uh, these guys are probably sending all of their men to go rot on forts over in Savoy, which is like absolutely ideal. Burgundians meddling in our affairs for Liege? I would gain cores on it, though. So they'll get an option to become our vassal. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I kind of don't want the hassle. I think I'm just, <laughs> I'll just, uh, I got claims on them. We'll just go for it later. No big deal. Really need Castile to break through in the south here. looks like they're struggling pretty hard. Do a cheeky mid-war upgrade on our unit pips. But yeah, Castile seems to not really be doing much. Kind of unfortunate, but I think we're okay. We at least have a fort next to their capital. Their war exhaustion will continue to go up. So I think we're okay. Let's just get down and see if we can siege down Paris. That would definitely be ideal. They just need to crack down this siege down here in the south and we'll be good to go. Can embrace institution. Mm, not really in any rush. Once we siege down Paris though, we're gonna be good. Does look like Castile maybe lost another battle down here though. They keep on getting off this fort and I don't really know why. Hmm. Looks like we need to uh, figure something out here. Just need to get their loyalty up a bit. I think we can probably manage that. Oh man, Castile's having their civil war as well. This is a disaster, but we're making progress on Paris. As long as they don't doomstack us, we should be good. Oh, they definitely have a doomstack, no doubt. Though it looks like uh, they want to send their men over here. That would be honestly fine with me. Austria lost emperorship. Oh, yeah, that's not really good. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully that doesn't end up in disaster for us. Yeah, I think Castile's out of the war and Savoy basically is. Yeah, Castile's officially out of the war now. Yikes. Oh, no, they're coming for me. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. The doomstack, the doomstack. I'm scared. I'm scared. Doesn't look like they want to commit, though. That's good. Uh-oh. Bohemia has declared independence. Yikes. I'm going to get called into that soon. Whenever they peace out this war, which they are winning, but, uh, oh, gosh. Allying Austria might have been a mistake. <laughs> Let's see if we can come down here, get these guys off these mountain forts. That would be good for us. Yeah, let's just come on in and take out any of these little small stacks we can. Anything we can do. And they pieced out. Unfortunate. Let's just uh, see if we can get these guys off Paris. Any of these little, little small stacks that we can find, you want to be taking them out at all times. Scorch this one so they can't reinforce us quickly. And then hopefully win this battle. Um, no, they're going to reinforce. That's unfortunate. So it looks like we're actually even possibly winning. Uh, they're just reinforcing way too many men. Okay, that's fine. They they lost very, very heavy losses in that battle. But yeah, it's basically just mono e mono and I don't think we're going to be able to, uh, to to win this war, so to speak. My manpower pool is shot. Well, what we can do is we can just consolidate, get a couple more mercs. No big deal. They have a 4-4 and we have a 4-3. So I think the general is not an issue. It's more just uh, men in the field. So we'll just go with the independent army. That's fine. We don't want them to take Chartier, but it looks our Chart or however, but it looks like we don't have a choice. <laughs> it is what it is. I feel like this is not a good battle for them, but uh, we also, they have better morale than we do. Unfortunate, it is what it is. Yeah, the uh, war score from battles is definitely not doing us any favors. We can buy them as a Stadtholder State. Uh, sounds good. I will happily take that. How are we gaining so many subjects? <laughs> the Vassal Swarm is good. Though sadly, they don't join the war. That would be a nice little army to have. Uh, it actually looks like they didn't join me. 
questionable. I'm not actually sure what happened there. This is Scorch, so we should be able to just go in and beat them. No big deal. Wait a minute. Austria joined? When? When did Austria join this? They're not in this. Why is Austria at war with them? They're just in them a war, a different war. Just a different war. <laughs> oh, what a uh, fortunate turn of events here. <laughs> so we're gaining a lot of this now because their influence has gone up. Ay, ay, ay. That's pretty dumb. And because we lost this fort, now we have to march all the way around. Ay, ay, ay. Definitely will not let them siege my stuff down. That is an absolute no for me, dog. Anytime we can take a small battle, we definitely want to do that, like these 10 to 1s. Yeah, France has five loans, actually. They're uh, they're not doing well right now. And uh, the Iberian wedding happened. Very good. So, wait a minute. What? Oh my gosh, what happened? <laughs> okay, uh, so Braganza is independent. Portugal is a union under those guys. And Aragon is not. I have no idea what just happened. Oh well, doesn't matter. They're still my ally, and that's all I really care about, to be honest. So, what I would ideally get would be something like this. 33 is reasonable, but I also would like some economic concessions because if we can get them in debt, we definitely want to do that. Yeah, they didn't join me. I don't really know why. It's kind of also funny because they're the papal controller, which is very funny. So there's a unification war going over in Bavaria. Very cool. Big war, man. I lost 40, France lost 80. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a lot. So yeah, they're hurting. They're definitely hurting. Looks like their war exhaustion may be finally spiking and going up. Uh, though they did pull Bohemia in on this war, which is weird, <laughs> but uh, that's a thing. We can get this war now, but I really would like to push for war reps if I can. I feel like it would be in my best interest to do that. So we need to take any good battles that we can. Any good battles we can. Anything to get more war score. A little bit of carpet sieging may be called for as well. You gotta get a little bit of that occupied and besieged provinces for some peace deal negotiations. You don't actually need to be making progress on the siege. You just need to be on the fort and you get the, the extra points in the peace deal. Nice little uh, kind of semi-cheaty thing, but it's a great way to uh, kind of manipulate the AI to get a little bit extra. And this is what we'll go with. Uh, can I get war reps? I cannot. If I wait, I might get war reps. Let's see if we can sneak over there. Now we get war reps. Nice. All we needed to do is get on another fort. So we get all of these cores for my subject which is uh, pretty great, though I don't actually get to take Paris. So I guess uh, that would be the question is how much do I value those war reps? If I get rid of them, I can get an extra province, which is a fort and maybe a couple of ducats. So um, that's fine. I'd rather have the extra fort for my subject. We surround Paris. That means they'll probably move their capital, which is very funny. Not a bad war, not a bad war at all. First idea group, uh, maybe we want to go with like influence. We do have quite a bit of subjects. I was going to go um, espionage, but I think influence is a good call. Don't really have any devastation to speak of either, which is great. And now we just need to get these guys reined in as uh, Stadt holders. We can do that. Yeah, now they're at war with the Ottomans, man. I think I need to dissolve this alliance immediately. <laughs> I do not want them to call me into any of those wars where they are getting their butt cheeks clapped in. Now, these guys are not rivaled to Castile. Like they're not rivaled to each other. So Aragon may actually be a great call for an alliance with us. Time will tell. So France ends that war with seven loans. Not bad. Means their interest is going to be pretty dang high. The Palatinate will not join, but France will join these guys, which is very annoying. Very, very annoying. Tell me that the AI does not target the player, bro. <laughs> these guys, however, would be a much better choice for us. So that it would call in two of our friends. So maybe we could have them break off some alliances. That would be good. Yeah, we got to get rid of these uh, noble. I'm going to have to do this. Otherwise, we're going to end up getting um, we're going to end up getting some issues with these guys that will give us. OK, yeah, this is good. We don't want the aristocratic coup if we can avoid it. Plus, the extra tax is nice. More money, you know, build churches. Ooh, nice. We can pick up an extra friend in Poland. I think we are uh, pretty good on the Diplo game, especially considering that Aragon annexed a ton of Naples. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, nice. Stay ahead of time on Diplo. Make sure you're keeping that. 20% trade efficiency, which is very important. They did move their capital from Paris. They moved it over here. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I love that. Oh, now they're hug boxing a bit too. That's annoying. Ooh, money for stability. Always appreciated. Actually going to go ahead, do a quick little a yoink. And uh, there you go. Three stab. Can't beat it. So before we declare any wars, we should probably hold a tournament that's going to give us some army tradition, morale of armies, and some prestige. We could also do this one for some siege ability and some cav costs, as well as a general. 
Hmm. Okay, we could probably do that. A comet? Give me a break, bro. I was just about to do this one. It's gonna get all of my subjects a little uppity, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge pain. I can just buy down their loyalty. Shouldn't be a big deal. There you go. We can disallow the demotion or the, allow our demotion of subjects to normal vassals. We'll also gain some free mana, which is appreciated. So once they are loyal enough, we'll be able to demote them to uh, Dutch subjects, apparently. I'm kind of just waiting on this truce because I can't really do a whole lot uh, in the HRE. So we're kind of just hanging tight for now. Though the timing may end up being perfect so I can get to Tech 7, Miltech 7, and attack the French that way. That would be good. Let's go ahead and get a general from these guys. It's going to give us an extra general, of course, which is useful. Uh, he's not that good, but at least we have one that will also allow us to get the bold Duke giving us some AE expansion and army tradition from battles, as well as uh, converting our general or ruler to a general of a 244. Not too bad. Faceting in Liege. Very nice. I would love to take that. But uh, yeah, we're a little held up here still. Though our truce with these guys is going to be over very shortly. And I think that that is going to be our time to shine. No professionalism, so I don't really care about that. Uh, probably just look for a good general and try to roll that. They even deleted the fort in Paris. Oh, that's so good. We have built the building in Bourbont, which will give us a uh, right of council scaling bonus of the great project. So very nice. Once Brabant has at least two buildings, we will get a tier six council of the something reform. And once we reach level three in the government reforms, we will get a grand privilege. Okay, sounds good. But the next goal is going to be this one here, the Norman campaigns, as well as the conquest of Paris, which if it's owned by uh, uh, Champagne, We'll get some extra bonuses, which I plan to give to Champagne because that's a lot of dev and I don't want to court myself. Let's get these two guys demoted. It costs us a stability each. I think that's probably fine. And then next month, we are going to war with the French. Castile will join me, as will uh, Savoy. Liege will join them. Bosnia will join them, apparently. Bohemia will not. So, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Let's go for, like, home here. And we'll just take uh, Paris separately in the peace deal. Should be not a big deal at all. Apparently, Poland wants to join as well. Why not? Yeah, I think we win this one. <laughs> Liège, I will separate peace out and just have them break their alliance with France. I think that that would be really good for us. Meanwhile, my subjects can just go vassals, swarm them. Sounds good. Level three, the reform progress growth is always good. And that will give us another mission here, I believe. Ah, we need two stability. Okay, we'll be able to get that in due time. There we go. Liege will just get to uh, break their alliance with these guys. No big deal. Something like this is super reasonable. Champagne will get their core there. I actually need Alençon as well. We won't get a coalition, so that's like perfect for us. Going on an expedition over here to Bosnia. Well, 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 we have the Burgundian succession, huh? Well, that is certainly something. I could become a junior partner of France. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Could become Castile. Or we could just do this one, which is what I will do. Let's go ahead and get out of this war. That will be easy enough. And that will allow us to take all this land over here. That will allow us to yoink that development back to Dijonet. Then we can ally the Emperor. Very important. At least I think it might be important. And then we will uh, hopefully be good with that. Now, it's a shame because he died on that siege over there. So we actually lost an extra uh, stability but could be worse. We now gain Norman as an accepted culture, as well as upgrade the trade building in Caen, which is nice, and uh, or builds a marketplace. The conquest of Paris will give us some extra b mana and all that stuff, which is really nice, as well as a general. And when we form France, we will distribute five of each development in the area. Very good. Uh, that is 15 development for those of you who are, uh, for, who are smart. And then we will also get uh, Paris upgraded and stuff like that. Sounds good. We also have equality in Burgundy, which will give us a great privilege in the low countries. 332. Sounds good. Our new king is, uh, wait. Oh, it's, it's Mer Mary. Mer Mary of Burgundy, right? Assemble the Council of War. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. It'll give us an event. No agreements will be reached, or we can pay for them to uh, do this. Declare war within one year, we will gain a general. Okay. That will give us this mission here, giving us a big PP. We already have 100. We can get some more Burgundian campaigns on the Palatinate as well as on France. Sounds good. We have so many forts. I should probably actually get rid of some of them. Let's get rid of this one. We don't need that one. So I think that Brittany will be our next, um, you know, attacking target. So I'm going to go ahead and break off that alliance. The Emperor demands the Lowlands. Hmm. No, I don't think so. We can grant the great privilege, which will inherit the two of them. Um, but we will gain local autonomy. Or they'll support the independence of all of them. Okay, let's just go ahead and inherit them. 
The local autonomy is definitely not ideal, but it's not like the end of the world, I don't think. And the Palatinate has declared war on us, you sons of guns. Well, luckily for them, <laughs> I have friends. Keep the cavalry, get rid of these infantry, we don't need them. Well, they could probably call their friends in. I'd be surprised if they didn't at some point. Let's just go ahead and loot them up, why not? Love me some looting. Do a little bit of development up here. We have plenty of mill mana to spare, especially in the cloth provinces. We're gonna need that for a mission. Burgundian fashion. With our fashion being Europe's finest, our soldiers will no longer have the chance to wear poor uniforms. Very nice. We can now sell. Oh, we can get a privilege to sell it, granting us art selling efficiency. Okay. So this is a diplomatic action against Christian European countries. Sure, I'll do that. But right now I have a zero, zero with everybody. So I think there may be some logic missing here. Yeah, he definitely made a mistake by uh, declaring war on us. Definitely not intelligent. Not sure what we, if we can ever get rid of this though. Hmm, we'll see. Hold in their friend, but I can just, you know, take their money and all that. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and do the same with you. Anything we can do to get a little bit of prestige would be good as well. We are now a kingdom. Very nice. Definitely making better money up here in the English Channel, though. Love that. Diplo annex process would be good. I would like to uh, get working on annexing these guys. going to take 12 years. Ah, <sighs> Okay, well, the sooner we get started, the sooner we get it done. Truce with Liege is over in April. We should be able to attack them. I think we should be good. Truce is up, and the Platinate will now join. That's unfortunate. Luckily for them, they're very weak, and I don't actually think I need to worry about them. I can ask Poland to uh, prepare for war. I can now send these guys a scornful insult to let them know that they suck and I hate them. Hopefully they will break off royal marriage. They did. And now I don't even lose a stability while I do it. And I call Poland in. Easy enough. Savoy wants in on it as well. Why not? Feast of the Pheasants for getting friendly with the Pope, man. Going to give us some prestige, which is nice. Uh, Curia Interactions. We will gain clergy loyalty. Interesting. Uh, Ottomans exist. Crusade against the Ottomans, huh? Okay. I'd have to give it a try. Could be fun. This crusade will go until December of 06. Okay, well, that's definitely not ideal. Though this could be fun. I wonder if people would join us. The Abbasid Revolution. Very cool. Get a value cannon. Start piecing people out. Basically always just want to take all of their money. Gives you nice long truces and also allows you to get lots of money. Why not? Feel free to keep joining these wars, but uh, it is not going to go well for you every single time, my friend. A little bit of AE, nothing I'm really too fussed about. We wait here till the end of the year and nobody through basically, yeah, basically nobody will be able to join. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Beautiful borders and the fall of Liège giving us more claims, clergy loyalty, as well as a fort building upgrade in Liège. So we get a level four fort. Very nice. AE is limiting, but I would love to get war over here. I think we're going to have to hold off on that for now, though. A little bit of development in our capital, and we will be able to pop a golden era. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more. That way we can do that. Very useful. Love me a good golden era. The seat of the Dutch. Upgraded center of trade in Brussels and a tier six reform. Very cool. Always happy to get radical reforms. Don't really want this level two guy, but um, mm, go ahead and fire them. Get that free mana. Always love to have that. So good. Just so, so, so good. So these guys are actually really happy with us. We could yoink this, which would mean get a lot cheaper for us. We get a lot more dev and over in our capital and we'll still annex them, no problem. You only need 190 to initiate annexation. Now it's gonna be much quicker. It was 92 before, so we cut five years off of that. Let's go ahead and boost our stability up and that will allow us to get the great privilege, nobility estate and uh, shaping Dutch privileges event. So let's see here. Land for some in Dutch subjects, regiment costs in Dutch subjects. Interesting. Dutch traders, always a good one. Or autonomy. Let's go with the traders. That sounds great. Platinate won't join. These guys will call in Brittany and Savoy, which is unfortunate. I don't think I might be able to have them break off their alliance. That would be like absolutely ideal. Thank you so much. That makes this even more easy for us. I'm going to go ahead and go for this Treve or Trevis or however this is pronounced, because this, I believe, will allow us to push towards forming Lotharingia. Oh, actually, it literally changes us to Lotharingia which is exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and take that. AE is a bit much. Uh, we can wait till the end of the year and we should be fine though. The Palatinate took this province here, huh? Okay. Mole House, goodbye. Colonian, Phrygian, Punitive War. What? <laughs> Bro, what happened here? <laughs> well, I guess this is my chance. Let's go ahead and uh, just try to take it, I guess. Much better. Go ahead and take that province. We'll come back for Mets later. I'm not fussed about it. 
This, however, will allow us to change to Lotharingia, get new missions, which I assume will go on top of the ones we have right now, gain some legitimacy, as well as some splendor and support of the Knights. Love to see it. I assume that these ideas are better. So let's go ahead and go with them Lotharingian ideas. This is our second Lotharingian campaign in one week, lads. Second one in a week. If you know, you know. I no longer have strong duchies, which is weird. I wonder why it revoked, but either way, it's fine. It lowers their influence, so I'm kind of okay with it. We're working on annexing these guys, so we should be fine. Ah, love it. Love it, love it. Free cores. The Order of the Golden Fleece, which will give us some mana. Always appreciated. Mill Advisor of at least level two. Well, I think we can probably manage that. That will give us Poisoned Ore or whatever. So there's specifically an advisor for this, uh, this kind of government mechanic we have. It will also give us max leader shock as long as we maintain army 80 army tradition. Very nice. We do get a few new missions down here, which is very nice. Next idea group. Hmm, what do we want to do? We are playing a bit tall as well. Infrastructure would always be a good shout. Definitely not too late to go innovative. Advisor cost and AE impact. Sounds good. Let's go innovative. Oh, hey, these guys are our subject now. Nice. Let's go ahead and demote them. Gonna lose the stability, but that is fine. That will allow us to integrate them eventually. And let's do it with these guys as well. We've got the stability to spare. Noble cause of the hospitalers. Well, well, well. Okay. A little bit of money for a lot of uh, Pope mana. I'll take it. It's quite a bit of AE, so I don't think we're going to be able to take it directly. We may be able to vassalize them. Still quite a bit of AE, so maybe not. Aye, aye, aye. All right, we'll take their money. We'll come back for it later. In the meantime, we can attack France shortly, so we're going to do that. Naval force limit. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Sounds good. Curtail those privileges. Give me some cheaper tech. Always appreciated. We have the Flemish Renaissance here giving us some idea cost very nice patron of the arts that's nice I, I always take that so it's perfect and some free innovativeness i love it let's hold a tournament between the orders gonna need to start doing that mill tech we get to take it cheaper than base cost a year at a time get the innovativeness very good let's go ahead and go with our uh ex noble integration policy that will allow us to start integrating our subjects much cheaper truce with france is over let's go ahead and uh, make like a baby head in or head out I guess. I don't know. Burgundian campaign. Either way. In we go. Poland will join as well. Why not? Basically, I'm just going to park all my armies on this one fort and just try to let my men give me as much participation as possible. That's kind of how that works. Looks like England is going for Bordeaux as well. So that's kind of funny. I'm going to get this admin tech and then we're going to rush these three ideas to get that extra 10% tech cost. Very useful. Do a bit of looting. Sure. Why not? Oh, it feels so good to just like dumpster the French, bro. I tell you what. We got some friends over here that want peace out. I will happily just take it all. Sounds good. All this devastation down here will basically ensure that they're never able to fight us again, which is exactly what we want. Nuremberg is the defender of the faith. Nuremberg. Okay. The free city of Nuremberg. I've seen it all. This one will cost me some Diplo, but a lot less AE, and I might be able to Diplo vassalize a guy or two down here. So I think that would be more appropriate. So we're going to try for that. And we'll just max out the, uh, the uh, peace deal anyways. No big deal. So yeah, these guys will accept our vassalization. I'm going to try to get one or two of them if I can. Might be able to get all three. That would be great. Definitely going to be uh, needing to get some strong duchies, though. That's for sure. Palatinate is still the emperor. Very good. More subjects, please. I love vassal swarm. I love vassal swarm. How about it? Send these guys a gift. It will allow us to uh, begin the annexation process on them. Assuming I uh, don't lose a little bit of relations on the yearly tick, which I do. Of course I do. Oh, right. They haven't even been my subject long enough. I feel like they've been my subject for a really long time, but it's probably since I had to demote them or whatever. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and do some manpower development. Could mess with the edicts, but I um, eh, can't be asked. So much trade we're missing out on up here. Let's get these guys upgraded. That would be great for us. 15% morale of armies. Man, we get some trade efficiency, idea cost, advisor cost, a missionary, and core creation cost finishing with AE impact. Very solid. I can definitely dig those ideas. Safe to say we're losing some Diplo <laughs> from the, all these friends we have. I can go ahead and get rid of these guys. That's uh, definitely an unnecessary one. If we send them a scornful insult, we might be able to get them to take the stab hit and remove our ro royal marriage. It's always a nice thing you can do if they have less than 50. There you go. They'll take the stab hit. They'll immediately stab up. No big deal. Win-win for us. Mines is now the defender of the faith, and they really, really don't like me. Yeah, these unlawful territories are not doing me any favors, that's for sure. We get to work on annexing these boys. Less we have, uh, the less we mana we need to worry about losing. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one here. Use that instead to go with strong duchies. 
free up some Diplo. Well, 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 hello, my 42 year old ruler can gain some mana legitimacy. Wow. We'll go with the admin mana. I mean, that's what I'm trying to get my uh, rip through that technology. So might as well do it. Poland is the papal controller. I haven't gotten it yet at all. I'm so sick of it. Just ally these guys so I can finish up that thing. I don't actually want to be allied to them. Just need to do because they were the defender of the faith. Normans on the French throne, huh? France has fallen. Well, okay, man. <laughs> there you go. We've annexed two of these boys over here. Very nice. Let's go ahead and go with clergy land rights. Need a little bit of governing capacity there. Nice. Prospering times in a cloth province. Heck yeah. I always take that production. So good. Going to steer even more trade over here. Oh, hello. The Abbasids, apparently. That's a thing. <laughs> Well, there you go. I, I don't think I've seen that one yet. Also, Holy Muscovy. Wow. Colonialism is here. Very nice. Take this idea here. 10% tech cost, 10% embracement cost, 10% trade efficiency, which means 10% more income from trade. We are going to be absolutely rich. Safe to say France has definitely seen better days, though. That is uh, pretty crazy. So the Dutch Revolt here requires a tier six, which I do not have access to. But if I can get some Dutch advisors, that would help. Help, but it is, it's gonna happen no matter what we do. Hmm, yeah, I'm not so sure, man. I guess we can just push in, attack these guys and see if we can annex them before the, um, before the actual disaster happens. That would be nice. I never really understood this disaster, so I actually don't really know what I'm doing. Yes, my little ally friends. Swarm them for me. Yeah, I think it's basically unavoidable. I don't really know what to do with this, actually. I really don't. <laughs> uh, I might just have to deal with it. I hope it's not like it was in vanilla where it was like unavoidable no matter what you did and you just had to deal with it for like 100 years no matter what. That would be annoying. The Lowlands Revolt. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of rebels. That's uh, that's 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 quite a lot. Okay, well, and to get rid of it, the Netherlands has to exist or active for 20 years with no rebels. Okay, we can do that. So we guess we get trade efficiency and stab cost. So this is actually like reasonable or I have to do some culture conversion. Okay. So it would probably take a lot of Diplo and a lot of time. So I guess we'll just wait it out. No big deal. I will boost my stability up though. Definitely want that. And the Netherlands declares independence. Ah, okay. End of the Dutch revolt. Okay. Far worse than a local rebellion. Okay. And I guarantee you, I'm not gonna be able to uh, annex them. I'm gonna have to annex their land, which is gonna cost me a crazy amount of AE. No, we have cores on it. Okay. Okay, no, this is totally reasonable then. Well, in the meantime, let's piece everyone out. Luis Joseph will lead us now all power cost nice same thing just take all their money all their trade power sounds good prevents them from joining any coalitions gets me richer it's a win-win take mill tech 450 mana six innovativeness oh it's so good you know ideas are just so solid i love them though we do have a reformation on our hands where are we at so it looks like we've got two in the north and then one over in bohemia okay something to keep our eyes on the dutch are backed up by muscovy because reasons. I have no idea why, but they are. Well, <laughs> they're just gonna siege down my friend. I don't really care. Does that make me a bad friend? Maybe. Switzerland, same thing. There we go. Goodbye. The fall of Frisian freedom. Guess I should start that long march. We're gonna probably need to siege down Muscovy if I wanna get out of this war. So I might as well do it. Looks like Poland, Lithuania actually turned the tides on him anyways. <laughs> yeah, uh, Muscovy not feeling so hot. Good thing that they backed up this random Dutch nation over in the lowlands, right? And for that, they will bankroll me and they don't get any say. 400 ducats, not bad. <laughs> That's pretty solid, I'll take it. And that means the Dutch revolt is over. I also will take all of their money because screw them. That's why the fate of the Netherlands is over and we will now be able to decide their fate, which uh, can swap the Holland over to the Netherlands, I guess, or Take control of the lowland countries from our Dutch subjects. All annexed provinces will gain some stuff. I, I don't care. At this point, I'm ready for them to just be over with. Nice. Luis Joseph, the, this guy, the 344. Not bad. Now we will begin the process of annexing all of these boys as well. Why not? A little bit of Diplo, but we'll be able to finally free up ourselves and have no more subjects, which is kind of crazy because we've had a lot this whole game so far. AE is super reasonable now, and I think we might be able to uh, get these guys to break off their alliance with our favors. That would be great. Yes, we can. And that essentially makes this a 1v1. So I will happily do that. Go for their capital since it's got the, uh, it'll have the lowest um, war score cost. And uh, that should be easy enough. Oh, that's really funny also. Lorraine just like 
annex the platinum. <laughs> yeah, well. The age of reformation is upon us. Very good. Make sure you turn off war taxes. Lots of AE, but I'm really not too fussed about it. Pretty good, actually. Go ahead and just piece these guys out. Easy enough. We'll take their money. That's enough for me. Oh, the center of reformation is in Mulhouse. Could have sworn it was over here. Okay. Pretty keen on this one here. Or the uh, supply limit makes it easy to park your armies. Reinforce speed and reinforce cost. Always just nice. Military doctrines is a nice, uh, nice little power boost there. Quite a bit of AE, but I really am not too worried about it. I think we're just going to go ahead and take this. Then we can immediately yoink that dev. Makes it quite a bit cheaper to core for us. Core it up as we're able. And that will give us this mission here. The Breton campaign giving us some diplomana. Very appreciated. As well as Breast Port. Giving us some colonial range as well as ship repair and local ship cost. Very nice. We could totally crusade these guys right now if we wanted to. Kind of funny, Europe will be liberated from Ottoman rule. Well, I think we're going to have to do it for the final, like the fi grand finale of this episode, right? I think we're going to have to. Let's just go ahead and uh, Leroy Jenkins. I'm just going to doomstack because I really can't be asked to worry about the, the Ottomans being very big and very spooky. I'm just going to try to separate piece out Bohemia very quickly. Low coalition is growing. I'm not too fussed about it. I actually don't expect it to happen, but if it does, it's not really the end of the world either. You wouldn't coalition a guy while he was fighting off the, uh, the heathens, would you? Ottomans have already lost a crazy amount of men. Lithuania and Poland have both lost a lot as well, so gotta kind of be keeping an eye on them. They're, they're the front line, basically. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are a little too influential. Peace out, Bohemia. Give them all my money. Thank you, sirs. That'll help us out quite a bit. Most of their friends are over in the Middle East, so not really too fussed about them. Looks like Castile will handle them, and I'm going to need to handle the Ottomans. Oh my, so I can buy an extension to my Golden Era. That hurts our economy quite a bit for that morale. I think we'll just go with morale damage received. I think that's good to go. Oh, hey, free mana. Heck yeah, bro. That's a lot of men. They're basically all kind of in this general vicinity as well, so I have to be very careful. 70,000 Ottoman Turks running at you is a, a little bit spooky, I gotta admit. Let's see if we can rush down this fort. Oh, man. Oh, they're gonna attack me. No, they're... Wait, what? That was weird. There we go. Give it to, like, one of our subjects so I don't have to pay for it. Bit of better defensiveness as well. And then we start doing these little catches where we're looking to catch all their little smaller stacks so they can't reinforce. That is always a good call. Sure thing, Auto Man. Let's fight you over here. You don't have much morale, do you? My goodness. That opens up the road to Constantinople. Might as well make our way down there. Oh, hey there. Morocco wants out. I mean, like any of these guys that I can separate piece, I should because it's going to be, uh, it's going to open up a slot for them to focus on coming our way now. Lots of battles going down, <laughs> but uh, you know, it is what it is. We're going to see what we can do to swing this in our favor. Constantinople has been won. I'd love to see that folks. Let's go ahead over here. These guys are going to attack me. It's a big fat L for you guys. Poland pieced out and then formed the Commonwealth. That is actually like not good at all for us. Yeah, this Miltech doesn't do anything for me either. Ooh, -wee, that's no good. I might be able to revoke a reform here. This would give us a 10% swing. That could be useful. Mm-hmm. I'm taking a big fat L in this battle. Okay, let's get out of there. I will take this just because we're fleeing. We'll have plenty of time to get our, um, get our units kind of reinforced. They're going to take those forts back very quickly, unfortunately. Start separate piecing out their friends. Actually, I think we stay with them because that will allow us to get some war score. Liberation of Europe is going to be 40. I think we can do that. That's going to be really useful. Yeah, the fact that I can't get access is kind of a pain in the booty, though. Now we're back on the road again. Bro, the AI is actually just trolling me. They keep on canceling access as I'm, like, walking through their lands. Looks like uh, Otto has some rebels. Uh, that'll be good. Oh, my gosh. Sunni zealots, huh? Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah. There you go. We're going to have a little bit of a... A little bit of a... A little bit of a disaster here. It is what it is. I can curtail them if I get their influence lower than 60. Okay, well, I think I can probably do that eventually. I'm just going to have to, uh, like, figure out a way to get their loyalty up or their influence down. This is the one right here. Yeah, it's going to be tough. To steal down here fighting a bunch of Ottoman armies is hilarious. Let's go ahead and get these guys out. See if we can break off their alliance. That would be great. And that should free up the... Uh, the uh, Castilians to make their way over, though I imagine they're going to be piecing out shortly. Yep, and there you go. They pieced out. <laughs> oh, come on now. 
How do I come back from this? My allies went in and lost a bunch of wars. So I guess I just white piece them. They don't even want a white piece, bro. This game, this game. Let's sit here on their capital and loot it. Screw them. If I sell some titles, I will be able to yoink at least one of these guys. Probably should get one that is giving them... Hmm. This one is giving them the most influence. So if we pull that one, that'll be good. We have another 10%er running out here in about a about a year. So that should be fine. Georgia is a march. Really? Okay. Oh, that's a three-star general. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this war, man. Got a lot of money and I've got force limit. I don't have force limit, actually. Yeah, I don't really know what I can do about this, honestly. I can wait for their war exhaustion to go up, but if it's going to be one good battle for them and my people are going to be completely boned. So I guess we're going to have to just accept the white piece here. That is very sad, but the fact that the AI is big dum-dums and they always want to get out of wars and not help you is tragic. Oh, hey, I can actually yoink another one. Let's go. I can actually remove the great privilege, though I don't think that that's going to help me with this right here. So I guess we're going to go ahead and go with patronage of the arts. That will allow us to click this button, which will make my stability tank. Oh, give me a break, bro. The king is back in control. Thank you so much. Let's uh, get that stability boosted up here. Oh, that's crazy. So Baden is the emperor and it was Hesse for literally like two minutes. I think they got annexed like as they in inherited it. Very funny. Well, let's go ahead and annex these guys. They are my final subject. So that would free up another slot over here for our, uh, for our nobility. So we can yoink this one. That doesn't actually do anything. And uh, we can also get this one here shortly. Well, eventually. We'll need to wait for their loyalty to outsmart, to outscale uh, their influence, which might take some time. In the meantime, let's build some buildings. Might as well. And with that war, I think that's a great place to call it for this uh, episode, at the very least. If you guys would like to see a part two, make sure you leave a like on the video. 500 likes, we'll do a part two here in a few days. Uh, big shout out to Steopa and the uh, Europa Expanded team for giving me early access. If you're interested, I'm going to have their Discord linked in the description as well as their Steam Workshop page. This update should be coming out here on Monday, question mark, I believe. If uh, if not, then you'll get that information in the Discord. So shout out everybody on that team. I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like for that extra 500 for another episode. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. Ding the bell so you get notified when these videos go up live. And uh, I appreciate you. See you in the next one.